What's going on guys, 7 Echo here and today we have some information and um, I don't know if it's leaked or actually revealed but we have some Black Ops 3 achievements. Now we have achievements regarding to um, Zombies, uh, Shadows of Evil map um, campaign and multiplayer and uh, pretty cool um, things as well. So the first one, uh, oh these achievements are primarily for PlayStation 4 because it says the it's trophies and um, like bronze, silver, gold. Um, I'll put the link in the description if you want to see them all. I'm not going to say them all because there's a lot, but I'm going to say the main ones that I find to be pretty interesting. So the first one is silver back in black and it says hack the data vault and brace yourself for cybers avenging, avenging in Dead Ops Arcade 2. So. Dead Ops RK2 is confirmed. Um, we have. Uh, it says hack the data vault and brace yourself for Cyber's Avenging. So, if you guys don't know, in Black Ops 1 we had Dead Ops Arcade, and the way to unlock that um, in the beginning was to actually get up out of your seat in the main menu and um, go to the computer terminal and put in like code and stuff. Um, and that will unlock Dead, Op Dead Ops Arcade. Um, so it says hack, hack the data vault. So maybe it's sort of the same thing where you can get up in the main menu or there's some other way to do it. And you have to hack it. And then you unlock Dead Ops Arcade 2. Um, that's kind of the reason why I think that these are just leaked. Is because of... Because um, they wouldn't really put that like something... Like it, it'd be more of a secret hidden trophy. If anything, anyway, it's a bronze trophy, and it's ultra rare. It says, but I think it says it says that for all of them anyway. Um, and yeah, so the next one is beat C O P, and it says in Shadows of Evil, summon the Civil Protector in every district in a single game. So the reason why I wanted to say about talk about this one was because it says um, in every district. So maybe there's different districts to the map, as the map can be very large. Um, there can be different districts you can go to. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's kind of what I, why I wanted to talk about this. I don't know what a civil protector is. Maybe it's like a um, uh, like a gumball uh, from that machine, um, like a power up, where you have a protector, a civil protector, and you summon it in every district, and then you get this achievement. Anyway, it's a bronze trophy. Um, so yeah, then we have the beginning of the end, and it says, in Shadows of Evil, complete all rituals. So, um, there's probably, in the trailer as we see, um, I'm, I think it's Shadow Man, I'm not sure, but we see someone flying up with, like, candles around him and things like that. Um, and I'm thinking maybe that that is, um, a ritual, so maybe there's different rituals you can complete. And you get this trophy once you complete all of them. And it's a silver trophy. And of course it always says ultra rare. I don't know why. But um, yeah. And then another, the next one is another side of the story. And it says complete this campaign on any difficulty. And the reason why I'm kind of bummed out about this one. Is that it's because it's a bronze trophy. And I really don't like finishing a whole campaign. It took me a while and... Only getting a bronze trophy, it doesn't seem like much of an achievement. I would have given, like if I were to make, um, if I was Treyarch, I would have either given it a gold or a silver at least, because the campaign, it's a good, it's a big thing once you finish it. But I don't think that these actually confirmed um, trophies, but you got to wait and see, about a month to go. And these aren't in any specific order, they're just randomly in random orders. Right. Full circle. Complete campaign on hardened, veteran, or realistic. And it's a silver trophy. And the reason why I found this one interesting is because realistic is now a um, difficulty in campaign. So I'm thinking maybe it's like a... Well... If it's realistic, realistic real life, one bullet would probably kill you. But maybe it's like one shot to the head and you're dead. I don't think... People are saying that it's one life for the entire campaign. But that can't be right because you survive all the way to the last mission and die at the last mission. You don't want to restart the whole campaign all over again. So I just think it's realistic as in 
um, bullet damage, so it'll be easy to kill the enemies, but also the, it'll be easy for the enemies to kill you. Um, it's, it's probably on, like, minuscule health. Um, if you know what minuscule is from Modern Warfare, like, very, very low health. One bullet will kill you. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. Um, and of course there's hardened veteran like we've always had. And they'll probably be, uh, recruit. Um, sorry, we're dead. That's the next one. Um, in Shadows of Evil, kill 10 zombies that are inside of a store in one game. So, I found this one interesting because it, they're saying things that are part of the map. So, inside of a store. So, there's probably going to be different stores in throughout the map. Because the map is very large. Um, so, that, I find that one really interesting. And it's got a cool, sorry, we're dead sign. As the image, I'm going to put these all up on the screen. Um, so you can just see the image and things. Hopefully it's not, hopefully it's not copyrighted. Or just, I don't know. Anyway, next one is Welcome to the Club. So this is just reaching level 10 in multiplayer while playing online. A lot of people reached level 10 in uh, the beta. I went max rank. Um, so it should be relatively easy to get this. And it's just the bronze. Um, and the Disavowed, Complete Black Ops on Hardened, Veteran, or Realistic. Now, when it says Complete Black Ops, I am not sure what this exactly means. Um, Complete Black Ops, like, it's, I don't, I don't know if it's referring to the campaign, zombies, or multiplayer, I'm really not sure, maybe it's another mode. Um, but the and silver and the thing I thought was a bit weird about this was there's other ones so there's one that's 200 stories of sheer adventure it's called and it says complete lotus towers on hardened veteran or realistic now now that I'm talking about it I actually think that it's probably just different missions so black ops is a mission lotus towers is a mission there's another one that's um uh sand castle complete sand castle on the Hardened, Veteran, or Realistic, and they're all silver, and then there's, um, yeah, there's a few different ones, um, yeah, so, I don't know, that's probably just, um, missions, but anyway, the next one is Gun Game, uh, in campaign, kill five enemies with five different guns in under 30 seconds, so when I saw this one, I'm like, yes, Gun Game is gonna be back, but then I saw in campaign, and I'm like, oh, it's not the mode, Gun Game. Um, but I'm actually relatively, I think that there will be gun game. I think there will be party games because it's not Black Ops without party games. Um, so this is just a bronze trophy. Then we have battle tested. Uh, it's just le uh, reaching level 55, which is the max level. And, um, and then you have to prestige. So it's 55 levels per prestige. Um... So it's Reach Commander, which is obviously level 55, in multiplayer while playing online, which is just a bronze, because, you know, it's not much. Then there's the Spider and the Fly. And it's in Shadows of Evil, kill 10 zombies, and snarred by a Widow's Wine grenade. So, what I'm thinking Widow's Wine, Widow, Widow's Wine is a perk, because we've heard the perk jingle. Um, I don't think it's... Um, I'm not sure what else it could be. Maybe it could be a perk and it could be a gum a gumdrop, like a gumball from that gumball machine. Um, it could be both because all I'm thinking maybe the perk just changes your grenades into like making them just like power grenades. Um, and I'm pretty sure ensnared means like trap. Like, so kill 10 zombies trapped by a Widow's Wine grenade. So maybe the Widow's Wine grenade, when you shoot it, it turns into like a spider web and traps the zombies, which you can then kill. Uh, I'm not 100%, but anyway, that's bronze. And that's a really interesting one. Then there's one, no one will believe you. Complete the campaign on realistic. And this realistic is supposed to be the hardest one. Since there's no one will believe you, it's obviously going to be relatively hard that when you tell people that you did it they're not going to believe you but it's only a silver trophy what realistic is supposed to be supposed to be the hardest difficulty almost to the point where it's impossible to complete and it's only silver what 
I don't know. This isn't really confirmed. I mean, I'm not sure if it's confirmed or not, but... What? I don't, I don't know. That was weird. Alright, let's go to the next one. Fly, swim, shoot, which is complete sandcastles on hard and veteran or realistic, which um, probably just another mission, like I said before. Then there's personal decorator. Earn all decorations. So I think that may be what this is. This is interesting because when I was playing through the Advanced Warfare campaign, you earned the you earned like almost as if squad almost as squad points where you can upgrade your soldier. You can upgrade the exosuit and things like that. Um, so I'm thinking maybe it's the same as this. You can decorate your soldier and if you upgrade fully upgrade your soldier and, and earn them all, you get a gold trophy. Um, I never I didn't do it all on Advanced Warfare, but I knew that there was um, an achievement if you did. Alright, not out of gobble gum. In Shadows of Evil, purchase and chew every type of gobble gum in your pack. So, gobble gum is the confirmed name for the gumball machine in um, Shadows of Evil, as we've seen. Um, so, purchase and chew every type. So obviously, I think that you get a random one. Um, so it's probably just like when you ha um, have them all in like a single game. Or maybe like, doesn't have to be in a single game, but trying them all out. Then there's doing camo right. In campaign, unlock all camos for any weapon. So I'm thinking that throughout the campaign, the more you use a weapon, the more your weapon can level up and get new camos for it. And you get this achievement for getting all of the camos, and it's a bronze trophy. I mean, what I'm saying isn't completely confirmed, so don't quote me on this. Um, I'm just saying what I think, and what could be a possibility. Next one is From the Shadows. In Shadows of Evil, spot the Shadow Man five times in one game. So, the Shadow Man must be someone that's almost as if he's Slender Man. He just appears in the background, and if you spot him five times in the game you get this trophy it's only a bronze trophy so it's probably not going to be too hard um then again the campaign is bronze but i don't know don't quote me on any of this but um it could be could not be not sure but i know the shadow man is like a mystical character um in shadows of evil next we have platinum and it's awarded when all other trophies have been unlocked and obviously it's a platinum trophy so, Platinum Trophies is pretty much in every single game, um, where once you complete all the trophies, you get this one, and it's worth a lot to your score. Um, I don't know any of these for Xbox, so I don't know the gamer score you get, but anyway. The next one is Lock, Stock, and then Some. In Campaign, unlock all attachments for any weapon. So, you may be able to have your own personal weapons in campaigns what I'm thinking where you can then unlock attachments for it the more you use that weapon which you can also unlock camos as well as it said in the other achievement so I'm thinking that's how it's gonna work um, I mean that's how I'm hoping it's gonna work so I think that'll be really cool to have your own personal um, uh, like almost as if your own personal armory in campaign that'd be pretty cool the next one is Parasite Scene. In Shadows of Evil, kill five parasites while riding on the train. So we have a train confirmed in Shadows of Evil. Um, now when I saw this, I'm like, is this going to be another transit? Oh god, I hope not. Transit, we had a bus and you ride the bus to different locations. Here we have a train. We ride the train possibly to different locations. What I'm thinking is that because it's like a whole city, you can ride, if you can't get to one point to the other, like on foot, because it's going to be a big map, you can just hop on the train, go there, get off, and it won't be like all foggy and misty and stuff like that, how it was in um, transit, but that's just how I'm seeing it, and that's a bronze trophy, um, so it's not much, but um, so the parasites are those alien flying alien things, I'm pretty sure, because um, that's what it looks like in the um, photo, the icon, um, but yeah, 
Next one is Understanding Madness, where it's completing complete Demon Within, which is the um, another mission and silver again, or what I think is going to be a mission anyway. Um, walking Encyclopedia. Discover all of the collectibles in any mission. So, um, I'm thinking maybe this is like, um, how we had Intel in other games. It's collectibles. Excuse me. Um, it's collectibles in this game. And, uh, or maybe there's collectibles and Intel. Um, but you just have to collect all the collectibles in any mission so it doesn't have to be all of the missions just in one mission and you get a bronze trophy um so yeah and the next and the final one is friends and foes complete rise and fall on hardened veteran or realistic which is another what i'm thinking is to be another mission um so that's pretty much all i had that really caught my eye so there's nothing on the giant or derice Whatever you want to call it. Um, and there's only one on Dead Ops Arcade. But I think that's a pretty good, um, good amount. It's confirming a lot of things. And it's really interesting if you think about it. Um, sorry this has been a really long video. But uh, I just want to say thank you all for watching if you watched this far. Um, hopefully give this channel a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.